Hey everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video and installation. Today we're going to take a look at the Skybell. In the interest of full disclosure, Skybell did not give me this product. They are not a sponsor and I'm not affiliated in any way with Skybell. With that being said, why did I choose Skybell? For me, it came down to I wanted the best video quality and arguably Skybell has it right now, currently. The other reason, Skybell offers seven days of free video storage. So what does that mean to you? If something happens on Monday, you have till the following Monday to review it or download it to your phone and keep it or your iPad or wherever you're gonna look at it on. Ring doesn't offer anything free. It's $3 a month or $30 a year. For me, that was kind of a deal breaker. I don't want to pay for a doorbell. Then the one thing that really cinched the deal was Skybell works with my existing mechanical doorbells. Ring works if you buy another $50 plug-in piece to make their chime ring. Now for a two-story house like we have and in the back, I would have to have a doorbell down here and also upstairs. That that would cost me another $100, maybe on sale another 80. It's still an ongoing, uh, a higher cost of an initial purchase and then the ongoing monthly fees. So that was really why I narrowed in on Skybell. So uh, with that being said, let's open it up and uh, see what we got. All right. Been waiting, I had to order this. And uh, I'm kind of excited to see what all is in here. If I can get into it. Oop, there we go. <laughs> Things are just kind of all over in this packaging. You can kind of see, it looks like it got uh, thrown. <laughs> There's stuff that's just all over in here. Oh, they give you a little uh, handy dandy thing. We will be using this guy. This is so that you can uh, drill holes to countersink these. I will be using it because we have stucco and it needs to be pre-drilled before you drill into it. Skybell, plastic. All right, that looks like that is about it. So I pre-downloaded the app this time to save you watching that and uh, this looks like uh, just a reference card for different colors you can change it and what they mean. And then it just kind of tells you a little bit about uh, a little bit about the product and how to install it. So uh, let's make our way over to the door and get this guy installed. So we're outside here. Our doorbell is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It just literally pulls out. So that's about all there is to it. I got plenty of space to push those wires back in. I'm gonna be very careful that I don't touch them. I uh, hunted all over creation, trying to find out which uh, breaker turns off just the doorbell. I couldn't find it. So uh, I'm just gonna leave it live and hope I don't fry something. Put this to the side. Now I gotta kind of mark this as to where I think this doorbell should go. They have it labeled here. Here's where we're gonna connect the power. This is the bottom set screw that uh, holds your uh, bell on, and this is marked up. So I'm gonna try and get this centered. Here's something that's kind of cool. Sky bell, obviously this, this item could be stolen. So make it come up, remove that set screw, and steal it. Sky bell says, that if you file a police report, supply that to them, they will replace your sky bell free of charge as long as you uh, file a police report. So I hope I never need that, but if I do, kind of a cool feature. So I'm gonna set this guy kind of right in the middle. See where we're at here and we'll try to get it level as best we can. Let's see, that looks like that is about middle right there. Oop. I may have to come down a little bit. 
heck, I think I will. Let's do a second arc. I'm a little happier with that. So I'm just gonna kind of hit the bottom half of that mark. All right, so I just looked at really quickly at the drill bit. It's a 15 64th. So for those of you that maybe want to pre-do a hole or something like that, that would be your uh, that would be your deal. So let's get this one lined up here as closely as we can. Ooh, that's digging right into it. Uh oh, it's skipping me off to the side though. Ooh, not cool. Oh boy, holy cow, what a mess. Wow, that was a disaster. Let's see if this one goes any better. something though. I think there's a stud back there or something. So in here goes that little guy. I don't know how well that's going to hold now that the hole's about six times larger than it needs to be. I may have to do something different. I may have to go with longer screws or something and try to hit that stud that's back there. Because I'm not sure these are gonna tighten up. No, it did actually. Wow. Okay. Went a little bit low on the other one and a little bit high on that one. So now, before I tighten it up, let's see if we can't level this off just a little bit. Hmm. I'm not sure on this. Because it seems like this plate is bowing quite a bit. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of an adjustment here. Adjustment meaning I'm gonna break that cement piece of the stucco off. I think that's enough to do it. It was just a little piece of stucco that was kind of sticking. Oop, well, anyways, I broke it off. I think that's going to do it. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to do some remodel at the bottom also. Ultimately, this is just so unlevel from here to here. I don't know if I could have filled in something, but what I ultimately decided to do is... I'm just gonna move this off to the side a little bit. So I'm gonna drill two new holes. These little grommet, or whatever you call them, those little things came back out pretty easy. So I'm gonna use those again. I'm gonna mark two new holes. We're gonna re-drill a couple of holes here. Those look like they lined up a little bit better too. I think I'm gonna have a little bit better luck getting a nice hole out of these two. So here we go. There we go. It's still better than it was. All right, let's get these guys tightened up. Just get attached here, and it actually does not matter the order. So we're just gonna wrap them around real quick. Oh, <laughs> doorbell works. Now, we gotta back this set. Oh, <sighs> don't blow on the. <sighs> Oh, that, yeah. Note to self, don't blow on dust without eye, eyeglasses. All right, so this is a little set screw. This guy's got, a lot of people struggle with this part of it. It's got a little hook here and a little hook up here. So that tells you, you got to go high before you come down and then push it down in. So it's down in, it's flashing, we got it working. It 
just that easy. Wow. Actually, went in remarkably quicker than I thought it would. So let's take a look at the SkyBell app. I pre-downloaded it. So let's take a look at what we got here. So we have to sign up. I don't have a SkyBell account. Let's see what they're asking. Email, password, first and last name. So let me take care of that really quick. So your password has to be, according to them, which it's kind of interesting, their requirements. It's, it has to be at least four characters in length, one letter, one number, one capital letter, and one special character. Okay, so it's going in. SkyBell would like to send you notifications. That would be helpful. If I turn that off, it's never going to notify me. Install a new SkyBell. All right, let's take a look at this. The syncing process has five steps and will take approximately two minutes. All right, let's begin. Your SkyBell is bl blinking red, blue while charging. Once it's charged, your SkyBell will blink green and red. So ours is actually already charged, so that's kind of cool. Next. To begin syncing your SkyBell app. Okay, so I have to join the Wi-Fi. So let's go back to Wi-Fi. And let's look for the SkyBell name here. So the SkyBell name is right there. Oop, keep slipping down here. So there's the SkyBell name. It should link here in just a second, and it does. Cool. Let's go back to the SkyBell app. Boom, it knows it. It's going to attach to our Wi-Fi. So our Wi-Fi is, I'm going to have to give it the password for that. It is now configuring the SkyBell. Success. Cool. Okay, now I'm going to click go to my SkyBell. Front door. Evidently, it assumes it's at the front door. Watch live. Hey, there we are. Uh, not too bad. Lag is actually really good. Let's press this and see if we can hear. We're just testing this out. That sounds pretty good. That's not bad. Device information, front door, notifications, motion is detected. So you could do motion is detected. I don't know if I care about that, but I'm going to turn it on, see what we... Oh, it doesn't... Uh, since the motion... You cannot receive motion detection. You can enable motion detection in the device settings. Okay. I'm going to make the LED color. Ooh, you can make it all kinds of colors. I'm going to make it more blue. Now nah, make it red. Let's make it red. Save. Boom, it updated. All right, there we go. Brightness, I'm going to turn it to high. Save. It got a lot brighter. Indoor chime. So there's where... If the indoor chime is on and connected to your existing doorbell, the ringer... So let's see if it actually does it. And there's the digital door chime. I just have normal, boring doorbells. Let's look at them. This is what I have. These are about as... I don't know how you get into it. There we go. These are about as basic as they get. They are the normal... Just normal, old, boring doorbells. So let's see if they actually ding when you press the button. Yes, they do. Yes. And that, oh, and I got a notification on my phone that somebody is at the door. Let's press. It's instantly bringing up the video and it's that quick. So that's honestly pretty fast. A lot of people were talking about lag. I'm not getting that right now. Let me hang up. I love that feature. The video quality on the SkyBell is supposed to be one of the better ones. I do see it's defaulted to 720. 
So I'm gonna turn the motion detection on. I'm gonna put it to medium, cause I don't really need it high. I don't need it shooting across in the neighbor's yard. Then I'm gonna change the image quality to 1080. We got enough bandwidth to support that. We'll run that. Speaker volume, low, medium, and high. Speaker volume used for video streaming set to medium. It sounded good. I'm just going to leave that alone. Manage sharing. That's where you can hand out. Sharing allows you to invite people to access your SkyBell doorbell from their doorbell account. So they would have to create the account. But you know what? Oh, now the notifications actually already came on by themselves. So that's cool. Let's change the color. I'm just, I'm a color freak with lights. Let's change it to green, a bright green. Let's see how fast it happens. We're gonna hit save. Boom, it is there already. I love it. Nice light at the top. This is something that's kind of cool. The sky bell, when it detects motion, will actually illuminate this at night to get you a better quality color picture rather than what the ring does, which relies on infrared only to illuminate. Obviously, when you rely on it, uh, infrared only, all you get is black and white. So this is actually gonna illuminate this pretty bright and allow you to record in color a person at night. Let's go to settings. Let's go to manage sharing. Invite someone. Invite someone from your contacts. I think I'm gonna do that since my wife's mm -hmm. already in there. It doesn't tell you anything here at the main screen but it did send it. Let's see, motion activated. What activated it? Oh, me, I activated it. Perfect, you can actually see when we were talking in the video, you can actually see what it did here. The sky bell, when it detects motion, will actually illuminate this at night to get you a better quality color picture rather than what the ring does which relies on infrared only so this is my wife's phone here's the email that it sent automated at myskybell.com so let's click on it it basically just says uh, you have been invited to share the skybell device accept the invite we're gonna click accept see what it does um it basically takes you through the account creation so basically, once you enter your first, last name, email, password, this is the last screen you see. So now she goes to the SkyBell app, sign in, because she's already got the account. SkyBell would like to send you notifications, click allow, front door. It's basically showing her exactly the same stuff that mine shows. So that is, uh, that's about it. So as you can see guys, that installation was pretty easy. I think pretty much anyone could handle it. As long as you got an existing doorbell that has power going to it, this is a piece of cake to put in. The stucco caused me a little bit of problems because it wasn't even. We were able to work past that pretty easily, just moved it off to the side. The Sky Bell installation and app, that is as easy as it gets. That was actually even easier than the door lock. So I'm really impressed with the uh, SkyBell so far. We changed the resolution up to 1080. It appears to get you a very good picture. At the end of this video, I'm gonna include just a few snippets just to kind of show you some tests that will run. I see no flaws in this design. Great, easy product to put in. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and review and installation process. See you on the next video. Yes, hello ma'am, how can we help you? Hi, I'm, I'm selling Girl Scout cookies. You appear to be a bit old for selling Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I have the wrong door. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, go ahead and come on in. I'll uh, trigger the door for you. It'll be perfectly safe. <laughs>
Okay.